Hey friends from the Brad Show Live, I'm Anna Ascona. Today I have here with me Mauricio Mendoza. He's one of the content producers here at La Musica app. And he also helps, you know, with Mega TV, a little bit of production. So Mauricio, can you tell us what made you get into the whole media business? Give us your background because I know you didn't start in this. Well, I uh, studied journalism in my country, so I, um, I studied that for five years. Um, but I studied like more writing than production or media or TV or radio. But um, somehow I get into TV because that was my first job back then. We made documentaries, long format documentaries. So if you were already working in the field, uh, you know, that you, s you went to school for, why did you leave Colombia and decide to come here and do the same thing? Because most people leave their countries to come here in search of something different, something better, etc. Yeah, I came here to, to look for, um, for new opportunities, but um, I didn't thought about that when I came here. I just, I just wanna, wanted to live close to the beach, basically, because uh, um, I'm from a town that we don't have any beach. It's all surrounded by mountains, and we love beach, so. I thought it I was on vacation at the beginning. <laughs> time. Yeah. Well, Miami does feel like a vacation. Yeah. But Colombia has beaches too, so why did you choose to come to Miami and I go live in Cartagena or something like that? I, I want to I wanna live close to my mom. She lives in Orlando, so that's a good idea to be to live like a little bit closer to her and to visit her s sometimes in a while. So. That's why I think we choose Miami. So can you tell us some of the challenges that you faced when you first came to the United States? The challenges, uh, like to create your your own network of people that uh, are uh, that were on the on your field. Like at the beginning, I start. I I I, um, I always tell the story that I made the I made the escuelita. The, the immigrant escuelita is where where you have to work in whatever you you have to. I, I was doing ballet parking, restaurants, parties for kids, uh, everything. And but I was I was blessed because I I learned that no matter what you do, you have to respect your job and you have to respect people no no matter what they do. That was like a lesson. So I start from the bottom and I start learn, like uh, knowing people. Uh, little by little, you get into your field like uh, um, you building back. building your your net. Well, where was your first job here in the States? Ballet parking. Well, in the industry, sorry. Your first job in the industry. <laughs> in the East industry, I was lucky because uh, I used to work in, back in Colombia. There were like a company called Terra, Terra.com, Terra.com. And I, I just knocked the doors and I said, oh, hey, I, I used to work in Terra in Colombia. Here's my resume, take a look. And two, two weeks later, they gave me like a freelance job. It was for only for two months. And, but they recommend me another job at the NBA, National Basketball Associ Association. And, and I started working for the NBA like this. It was like, I, I couldn't believe it. Because any, uh, per, any team in particular? or No, the for the league. For oh, the wow. league. I was doing the, the, the website in, in Spanish for five years. And I, that was like a dream job because I had the chance to, to interview players, coaches, uh, to travel around the country. I didn't know anything about basketball, anything about sports. I, I was always on the music field, but it was a great experience and I, I learned a lot. Well, with that said, what's your advice to anyone who's trying to come into the United States in search of the American dream or those that are already here trying to establish a life? Try to, to talk with people, to, um, to understand their their experience, to to hear uh, what they uh, they did to be in, in that particular place, and start building that uh, that network ar around those friends. And I think you have to be patient because sometimes uh, uh, it's hard to to build that network, to to have friends, to um, to have the same kind of friends that you used to have in your country. But little by little, you you will uh, start to knowing people, to talk with people. That is very nice. This is like a country with f a blend of cultures that you have to take advantage of that and to learn like uh, different different uh, cultures. And that what makes you more like uh, competitive in the market and probably well as well. exactly. 
Well, thank you so much, Mauricio, for joining us today. Can you please give a shout out to the Brad Show Live? Hey, what's up, mi gente? Brad Show Live. This is Mauricio, and thank you so much for having me here, and keep it up. <laughs>